In this short lecture we will be discussing about the scope of production planning and control, and the factors affecting production planning and control. Let's start by discussing the scope of production planning and control. Nature of inputs. To manufacture a product, different types of inputs are used. The quality of the product depends upon the nature of the inputs are used. Hence the planning is done to determine the nature of various types of inputs which is a complicated process. Quantity of inputs. To achieve a level of production, determination of quantity of the inputs and their composition is very important. A product can be prepared only when there is an estimate of the required composition of inputs. Proper coordination. It ensures the proper coordination among the workforce, machines and equipment. This leads to avoidance of wastages and smooth flow of production. Better control. Production planning is the method of control. For a better control, planning is a precondition. Only then, one can compare the performance and calculate the deviations which lead control of the production. Ensure uninterrupted production. The planning of materials ensures the regular supply of raw materials and other components. The regular flow of materials and supplies are helpful in the uninterrupted production. Capacity utilization. There is a need to use the available resources effectively. It is helpful in bringing down various costs of production. And, timely delivered. If there is good production planning and control, there will be timely production and the finished product will be rushed to the market in time. This also ensures the better relationship with the customers. So, what are the factors affecting production planning and control? Factor number one, use of computers. Modern factories are using office automation equipment like PC, punch cards etc. It helps accurate computation of required of men and machine. Factor number two, seasonal variations. Demand of certain products is affected by seasons, for instance umbrellas and raincoats during the monsoons and outputs. Production planning and control must take such changes into consideration while planning and control activities of inputs and outputs. Factor number three, test marketing. In an aggressive marketing strategy new products are to be test marketed in order to know the trends. This is a short cycle operation, intermittent in nature and often upsets regular production. Factor number four, after sales service. This has become an important parameter for success. In after sales services, many items are returned for repair. These are unscheduled work and also overload the production line. Factor number 5, losses due to unpredictable factors. Losses occur due to accidents, fire and theft of production inputs, mainly materials and components. These are unpredictable. Shortage of input due to such factors upset the planned production schedule in time and quantity. Factor number 6, losses due to predictable factors. There are losses of inputs due to natural engineering phenomena like production losses and changes in consumption of materials and occurrence of defectives.